Thanks for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Cristina Marujos and joining me today is Mario Sajikiriakos, investment analyst. We'll be having a look at the much anticipated Fed meeting. So Mario's the Fed will conclude its highly anticipated meeting on Wednesday. The U.S. economic recovery has apparently lost some steam lately as infections surged again. So in the light of this, will policymakers provide more stimulus to get the economy back on track? Hello, Christina. I I do think they will need to add more stimulus, but I think that this meeting is a little too early for that to happen. So let's explain. Yes, the recovery has uh, lost some steam lately. We have some high frequency data for July credit card transactions, initial jobless claims. Now, those are signaling that as infections rose again, the recovery stalled a little bit. That has also been acknowledged by a lot of Fed speakers lately, and I think that Chairman Powell will also uh, mention it. Uh, in his press conference. So long story short, yes, the Fed will most probably need to do more to get the recovery back on track, but it's too soon for that, I think, and they will probably wait for September. And here are the reasons why. So first of all, there's no need to act right now. Financial markets are calm. The yields on U.S. bonds are very low, so there's no panic in the market. You can afford to wait a month uh, before deciding what to do. And at the September meeting, the Fed will also have uh, forecasts for the economy. Now, secondly, is Congress. Congress right now is deciding well how much more stimulus to give the U.S. economy. The Republicans want one trillion more. The Democrats want three trillion more. This matters for the Fed. A stimulus package of $3 trillion would imply a much lesser need, a much smaller need for aggressive Fed action. So I think the Fed will want to wait for these negotiations to conclude before taking any concrete actions. And now bearing all this in mind, what do you think will be the market reaction? Will this meeting spell even more pain for the devastated U.S. dollar? I unfortunately think so. I think that when everything is said and done, Chairman Powell will adopt a very dovish tone. He will highlight the downside risks. He might imply that the recovery they were expecting in the second half is no longer as certain. And I think that a dovish tone like that could uh, spell more pain for the dollar, which is indeed in free fall lately. Now, here's the potential upside for the dollar. One day later on Thursday, we'll get GDP numbers for the second quarter. Those are expected to be extremely bad. In fact, the forecasts seem a little too ugly to me. And the implication is that we might see a slightly better than expected number that might give the dollar some support on Thursday, but the overall trend is still lower. Marius, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for watching this Forex preview on the Fed meeting coming up this Wednesday here at XM.com.